The Jammu and Kashmir government has started renovating all heritage religious sites, including temples in Kashmir Valley, many of which have been in a bad condition for the last several years. Now, this includes a 700-year-old Mangaleshwar Bhairav Temple in Srinagar. The project is expected to be completed by April this year. And this, remember, this temple that we were referring to was destroyed back in the 2014 floods. This is a major renovation project that is being undertaken by the Jammu and Kashmir government. Now, one important point to note is that one of the buildings that is being renovated is a 700-year-old Mangaleshwar Bhairav Temple, which is located in Srinagar. Now, this temple was damaged back in 2014 in floods. Now, to tell us more about this project, we're being joined by CNN News 18's Ishan Wani. Ishan, over to you. Uh, well, there are multiple uh, these religious heritage sites which the government uh, is now uh, making, uh, you know, cleaner, better. And several of them have been destroyed. Uh, this temple, which is 700 year old, was destroyed in floods in 2014, uh, which were massive floods. And since then, this uh, temple was in ruins. And uh, the government has undertaken these projects and are trying to revive and ensure that uh, all these temples are brought to glory. And, uh, you know, these are the temples which are very famous all around the world. Uh, now government has set aside some money under which these uh, temples have been exactly made uh, to uh, match uh, the standard of the level and, uh, uh, you know, the type and kind they wear. Uh, they're trying to make sure that they're made traditional and, uh, you know, these temples are uh, brought to glory. This includes multiple religious sites and Amit Shah recently during that, uh, you know, uh, uh, ceremony where he uh, made uh, this temple open for public in Kopara through the video conferencing also revealed that there are certain religious sites uh, where uh, the government is focused on is trying to revive. Uh, there were several of these temples uh, which suffered damages because a lot of Kashmiri funders who went outside and they were very less to take care of these temples. Now, the government is bit by bit trying to revive these temples and particularly the 700 year old temple temple which is exactly being made uh, you know uh, uh, what it was before 2014 floods so now there are certain conditions through which these temples have been marched of the years but now uh, the, you know this government is making sure that they're able to spend this money uh, which is uh, you know being as set aside to ensure that all these temples and religious sites are brought to glory all right, Ishan, thank you so much for joining us and for bringing us those details. Now, this is a major renovation project that's taking place and it's going to reportedly finish in April. Now